The U.S. Deputy Secretary of State will be traveling to China to meet with local officials. This is only the second high-level talks between Washington and Beijing under the Biden administration. Min Su Kyun has the full story. U.S. Deputy Secretary of State Wendy Sherman will visit China's northeastern port city of Tianjin from July 25th to 26th to meet with Chinese officials. In a press release on Wednesday, the U.S. State Department said Sherman will discuss areas of serious concern as well as areas where U.S.-China interests align. It also said the upcoming meetings were part of Washington's efforts to hold candid talks with China to advance their bilateral ties. Sherman is expected to meet with several Chinese officials, including Foreign Minister Wang Yi. Prior to her visit, the Chinese Foreign Ministry warned the U.S. that Beijing will make sure it safeguards its sovereignty and national interests. It called on Washington to stop interfering in its internal affairs. China-U.S. cooperation in specific areas is closely related to the overall China-U.S. relationship, and the U.S. cannot arbitrarily interfere in China's internal affairs and undermine China's interests while demanding China's understanding and support in bilateral and global affairs. The U.S. side should create favorable conditions for China-U.S. coordination and cooperation in important areas. Sherman's trip to China is the second time that Washington and Beijing will have held high-level talks since President Biden took office. In March, Secretary of State Anthony Blinken and National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan met with Chinese officials in Alaska, but the two sides exchanged sharp rebukes at those talks. This week's meeting draws much attention as ties between the world's two largest economies have been badly strained on multiple fronts, including the recent Microsoft Exchange server attack, in which four Chinese nationals have been charged with stealing trade secrets and information regarding technology and infectious disease research. Min Su Kyun, Arirang News.